Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I thought I would do a little bit of a different video um, so just kind of sitting down talking to you about products I thought I would do a high street haul and this isn't just any high street haul it's going to be very autumn focused kind of transitional wear um, as we go from August to September well actually today is the 2nd of September so I went into the store the other day and I went into my favourite Zara which is on the corner of North Audley and Oxford Street and I think it's their flagship London store so you get to really find sort of the best, most uh, trend driven pieces whereas a lot of other Zara's maybe just focus more on workwear or more basics. I find this one it's great for me and then I did a couple of other orders online so I've got everything here. I haven't actually looked at the stuff that I purchased since I bought it because I wanted this to be really authentic. I wanted to show you guys me trying everything on for the first time um, so I'm hoping that nothing is too creased yeah I thought we could get straight started and I'm gonna take things out the bag and then I'll try and, uh, and show you and I guess I'll take things out at random so the first item I picked up are these trousers and I was in two minds about these my sister and I both picked them up at the same time she was really keen on getting them for work um, and I just thought yeah they'd look great probably paired with something similar to this it's just like a black this is an old Zara black t-shirt um, so I thought they'd look amazing um, I did try them on in store actually and the fit is really nice so I'm going to try them on and show you guys how I'd style them Okay, these are them on. I'm going to pan the camera uh, so you guys can see them a little bit better. They are so comfortable. You could definitely eat a really big meal in them and not feel constrained. The fabric is really cool. I'm not kind of sure what the fabric is. They were $39.99 and I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them just because they cut at a really flattering angle. Um, I think I could wear them with, yeah, just a really simple t-shirt for the day with a biker jacket or with heels for the evening. It's in the bag. Ooh, next in the bag is this sweater. Um, I picked this up because it's so super soft. It was $25.99, I have it in a size small. This is it on. I'm just gonna change into my jeans because I think it looks a little bit not the best for these trousers. Um, but you can see the fit, it's really nice. I'm just gonna quickly change into my jeans. Okay, I'm back in my jeans. I've kind of tucked the front of it in. I love this because it's kind of perfect for sort of all weather you could wear it on quite a cold september's day with a little vest underneath and without a jacket or you could wear it to um properly layered up with a long sleeve top and a big coat for those really cold sort of wintry evenings as we get closer towards november december i love that it's really slouchy it's kind of cropped so it's not too long works really well with these which is just my vintage levi jeans um, and I kind of really love the neckline as well so absolutely love this definitely keeping it really really comfortable it's kind of stretchy feeling as well I just kind of feel all snuggly in it and I love the colour as well like the biscuity tone with the black stripe so yeah two thumbs up love that let's see what else is in the bag oh another top but this was 19.99 it's just a really simple Great top. I love a simple grey top, especially when paired with a pair of high waisted denim. So I was kind of hoping this would be a staple for me um, for autumn winter. So let's try it on and see if it fits as well as I hope it will. So here is the top on and it is everything I hoped for and more. It's really lovely and sort of lightweight so it tucks really nicely into denim. Um, you can kind of put like a nice necklace on there to accessorise uh, and then you can wear it with a skirt, with leather trousers, with pretty much anything and if I see them in like a black or a neutrally colour I'd probably want to get them as well just because they're so easy to throw on. You could put a really cool coat on over and you kind of have a whole look just together in one with a really simple piece. So yeah, absolutely love it. It wasn't the most exciting find but really happy that I got it. Some denim. I bought these jeans because they were on the mannequin when I walked in and I would never usually have been drawn to a pair of black skinny jeans. I much prefer more like mum fit denim now. Skinny jeans I just don't think are really as cool as they used to be. But these really caught my eye, mainly for the detail down the side um, and the fact they're not totally black. They're like a wash, so they're kind of a little bit grey as well. Um, and yeah, the mannequin looked so good in them, so I hope I look as good in them. Um, I got them in a size 36, which is a UK size 8. 
Um, and they were £25.99 as well, so I'm going to try them on for you. And here they are on. I think they fit really well, very flattering. It's a bit of stretch in there. They call them mid-rise, but I reckon you can kind of hoik them up, get them to a bit of high-rise. You could wear it with a really nice tan belt, leather belt to get that lovely, sort of very on-trend look. Um, I like them just as they are. I think they'd be really lovely with a pair of Converse really amazing with black boots like black either over the knee boots or black ankle boots and a great sort of statement coat next in the bag is this and i was really in two minds about this i couldn't decide whether to get this or not but i thought i would get it and then try it on and then maybe once looking back on camera so i'd feel like to keep it or not it was 29.99 it's size small and it's a lovely knitted what really has got me with this is the quality it just feels amazing it feels so expensive uh, it's not lightweight it's a bit chunkier um and it is black and white with a really it's actually quite sim similar to the other jumper i tried on before but it's got little holes in like artful holes to be a bit edgier so i'm gonna give it a try on with these jeans I'm definitely keeping it. The sleeves are so cool. You can tuck it in a little bit, uh, you can leave it out. I love it. And it might be a bit heavier, but it feels very breathable. Um, so I could definitely sort of even wear it on a day like today where it's like 19 degrees and I don't think I'd be overheated, which is what I love about Zara knitwear. Um, I love it. I really love it. I don't think the holes are too noticeable. They don't look overly like edgy. Um, and I think I could style this in a multitude of different ways. And you'll probably see me wearing this a lot over the coming months. So yeah, absolutely love that. I'm going to do the box first. This is some stuff that I ordered online. Um, and it's only just arrived. So this is my third striped top of the video. Definitely a theme going on here. Um, but this is much lighter weight than this. And this is black and white and this is navy and white. So totally different. Got it in size small and it was £15.99. Um, so a bit cheaper. So let's try this on. Okay, this is what it looks like on and I love it. You can roll the sleeves quite high up. So it looks like really cool and almost like a t-shirt. Um, you can wear it with simple black denim or you could wear it with the denim that I was wearing earlier. Um, it's definitely very, very breathable. Perfect, perfect for this in-between weather. You could just throw on a biker jacket and a pair of pumps, Converse, and you would be done. So yeah, love that. Um, I'm gonna move on, because I'm gonna keep this on. I'm gonna circle back to the box a bit later. I'm gonna move on to this bag, because there are some certain things in here. Okay, we have another pair of denim and I'm really excited about these because I saw them on a mannequin again and I was like, oh, I love them. They just look a lot more expensive than they were. They were $39.99, uh, size 36, which is the UK 8 again. And what I love about them is the cuff detailing at the hem. So yeah, absolutely love them. I think the detailing is really, really gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to give them a try on absolutely love the fit on these i think the fit is fantastic they are really flattering um and the cuff detailing on the ends just look amazing uh, they're really comfortable as well uh, i feel like i could definitely like sit down easily in them they kind of hold everything in here so you know lots of high-waisted denim can make you look a lot bigger than you are there because of really chunky zips and stuff that's not the case um and i think they're quite smart as well like you could definitely wear them with a really nice low heel for like a really nice casual dinner or a meeting or just chuck a blazer over on as well and they're going to be smarter than like your pair of ripped skinny jeans for example so if you work in like creative industry um i reckon you could get away with them for work potentially uh but if not perfect sort of weekend trousers a lovely take on your average pair of denim so let's carry on okay okay so this might seem mental to have bought um it was august when i bought 31st of august uh it's a super furry fluffy cuddly blanket of a coat but i love everything about it i love the color i love the length and it's so soft and i actually love the pink lining as well this can literally be worn a million and one different ways you can just chuck this on with leggings for a weekend walk you can chuck it with an outfit like this and add a pair of heels and the pink lining will make you look a lot more sort of fashion-y than you are it'll make it look like you are like just super cool and i love it and i think it's super cozy and snuggly 
and I just kind of want to wrap up in it now and I think I'm going to be wearing this a lot. They did have a shorter version of it if this is a bit too much fabric for you or if you're not that tall and you like this but you think it might be a bit too too much. They have a shorter version that doesn't have a hood and it is gorgeous as well but I just didn't really need two of the exact same material. Just go and have a stroke of it. If you're known as in a Zara just go have a stroke of it or order it online get it delivered, have a stroke of it, and then send it back if you're not totally enamoured with the feel. What size did I get? I got a size, I got a size extra small, but I think it comes up quite large. It was 59.99, but, um, but yeah, I think it comes up, it comes up pretty, pretty well. Yeah, absolutely love that. So next up, this was another item I bought online. It's 25.99, and it's another really fine knit, uh, jumper with sort of frayed detailing on the sleeve and the edges so let's try it on yeah absolutely love this i think the detailing just adds that little bit of intrigue again it's really comfortable this is going to be a staple for me i'm quite tempted to buy another one just so when this is in the wash i've got one to wear um i can just envision myself wearing this until March probably. Um, I love the way it feels. I got it in a size small. Um, I think it only comes in small, medium and large this one. But yeah, really flattering, really easy, just a really super simple basic and yeah, love it. I've got two more items left in the bag. I feel like this has gone quite quickly actually. This was the item that I hummed and hard over the most because it was quite expensive. It was $89.99. I bought it in an extra small um, and I really couldn't decide if it was worth it or not but my mum was with me and she kept on saying how amazing it looked when it was on and there was one that I wanted from Reformation that was very similar, um, I can't remember when I saw it, it took, they had a very similar one which was a lot more expensive and I thought well you know what, for the sake of the video I'm gonna get it so yeah. Let's give it a try on. Yeah, so it's extra small, but it comes up kind of big if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's got like a nice slouchy, loose fitting feel. I can imagine this looking incredible with an all black outfit, like super skinny black leather leggings, high over the knee, like black boots, like a black top, sunglasses, maybe like a beanie, um, and like a nice bag for like going to meetings, or like casually on the weekend with a white t-shirt. I love this. Love, 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 love. And I'm really happy that I got it. And I'm definitely not planning on taking it back. It's kind of got the double breasted buttons here, so you can do it up if you want, but I really like the slouchy look. Um, I'd say this is something you can only really wear up until probably it gets really, really cold. Because it's gonna photograph really well too, so I'm really excited to take some photographs from my Instagram. So yeah, really, really happy. Okay, so my final item, I think this is one of the first things I actually picked up in store, um, and it's this little like pleather skirt, it's $25.95, but I've got it in euros here, I don't know why, um, it's come from small, medium and large, I got it in a size small, I just thought this really reminded me of a liar, um, I love the stitching on it, like, I just thought that's so gorgeous, yeah the quality is not amazing but for $19.99 or however much it was, $25.99, I think I'm going to wear it quite a lot, especially with a top like this, bare legs maybe at this time of the year before it gets a bit colder and with tights and like really nice boots as it gets colder, so I'm going to try it on. This is what it looks like on, I love it, I love the size, I love the uh, material, it's really comfortable, it's not too tight around the abdomen area and I hate it when stores or designers make their skirts really tight around there, it's just so unflattering and it makes the fabric sort of crease and pull, so yeah I love that, I think it's going to be a real staple little leather pleather skirt, I bought a pair of shorts with similar material this time last year from Zara and I still wear them all the time, so I love them. That was it, that was my Zara try on haul, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, let me know if you end up getting any of those pieces or if I've inspired you to buy similar pieces, I think what I always tend to do is buy my stuff right at the beginning because I find the stock is at its best with Zara, I feel like they put out their, literally some of their best pieces at the end of August, early September, like I got some amazing boots, I'm going to link them on screen now, and I think I bought them end of August and by early September when I posted them, they were literally gone, so you never really know, but I feel like some of the really popular pieces they will and do bring back, but I really like buying everything early on so that I can just kind of like pad out my wardrobe throughout the season, but I kind of know I've got like my basics, like these basic tops, the really nice denim, um, and yeah, some really cool fun pieces 
place is that I'm really looking forward to styling for you guys and putting on my Instagram and blog. So don't forget to follow me on my Instagram if you don't um, already. And yeah, subscribe for regular videos. Let me know if you have enjoyed this type of video. This is more like styling, haul, try on. Let me know what other fashion videos you'd like to see next. Um, and I'll be sure to make them for you. I'm now doing two videos a week, one of which is a weekly vlog. I'm still figuring out my schedule. At the moment, I think it's like, Mondays and Thursdays, but that could change. Let me know what day works best for you guys, what day you would like to see my videos uploaded. And yeah, so stay tuned for the vlog, which I guess will be the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.